if you or I go vegan and the rest of the population doesn't, it's not going to make a huge difference. You have to go to those laws that actually affect the production level. All right, today we are going over this little snippet to the video. I asked environmentalists why they're not vegan from the YouTube channel Jamie's Corner. I am calling people out who use this excuse design for anything. By using this excuse to not go vegan, this person is essentially saying that she won't stop being the problem of animal and environmental exploitation because not enough people are doing it. Let's logically reward that. She's saying that not enough people are doing the right thing, so she justifies herself not doing the right thing. But she wants an authority, a leadership body, to force everyone to do the right thing, including herself, because when left to her own devices, she will continue to choose to be a part of the problem. I don't think that many environmentalists are educated in the harms that animal agriculture has on the planet, and additionally, just like many climate deniers, will ignore that their individual choices have a powerful impact on our world. And it all comes down to education, and we also have to fact in the generational brainwashing and propaganda, because most people still genuinely believe that they need to ingest animal body parts and their excrements in order to be healthy, which is easy to disbelieve if you've taken the time to look at the scientific evidence. However, if you already made that choice to transition, you're already doing a world of good. Making a positive change and actually practicing what you preach being a positive example for others to follow. So the perspective of this woman and many other people in the Western world are missing is that you can make a difference at the individual level. To think that individual actions don't collectively make a large impact is to deny all the victories accomplished by past and present social justice movements. I'm sure you can think of a few. The vegan community, for example, has made so much progress already without the help of the majority. Imagine the positive change that we can achieve if everyone that uses this excuse went vegan. That would be huge. We could see cancer and heart disease go down tonight. All right, just kidding, it would take some time, but the revolution is happening. All right, so I'm going to admit that I used to think this way because I thought I was the only one in the world that cared and it wasn't worth doing anything because I was just one person. But I was shitting myself. I was not the only one that cared. Many people around the world are making a huge difference with their individual choices and I am proud to be one of them. And no one has to force them to do it. No one has to convince them. No one has to bribe them. They do it all on their own. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the original argument about individual responsibility would accurately be categorized as the appeal to the crowd fallacy, aka the bandwagon fallacy. Not everyone is doing it, so I won't do it, or everyone is not doing it, so I won't do it. It's like herd mentality. I think that it is also worthy to mention how people point to others who are going vegan and accuse them for following the crowd, but we have to remember that the vegan community is very small. And that doesn't mean that the majority are always wrong, but I just want to put this in perspective. In some Gallup polls that I've seen, 3% or less in the US are vegan. I think I saw less than 4% for the entire population of the world, but we're still waiting for more accurate statistical data, but that's for some perspective. And think about this, if you already have the power to make the transition to a vegan diet, but instead you want to force corporations, industries, and legislative bodies to make the first step for you, no, ladies and gentlemen, it is your responsibility to make the first step. Don't be lazy. Imagine this, you can be an environmental revolutionary just by leaving meat and dairy off your plate. And lower your risk of multiple diseases, including cancer and heart disease, with every meal. Good for you. Way to be that change, taking charge of your health. All right, so avoid this fallacy and don't make excuses for why you aren't being the change you want to see in the world. Be that change. Go slow, but definitely go already. What are you waiting for? 2024 is around the corner. It's time to make some new resolutions. It's a waste of time and energy trying to combat these powerful entities and make them do something that you're not willing to do at an individual level. So don't support their poor behavior with your own and tell them they have to be the ones to change first because that's a red flag. That's red flag toxic. All right, to circle back to the main thing about this video, to say that you're an environmentalist but don't support the transition to a vegan lifestyle means you're not looking at the harms of animal agriculture. 
It's imperative that new environmentalists educate themselves on this topic because you're not going to reach the sleeping populace if you are blatant hypocrites. <laughs> and you're certainly not going to do any good pressuring capitalistic entities to change their ways if you won't even make the effort to change yours. So show the world that you're willing to practice what you preach. It's not hard to be a vegan and an environmentalist at an individual level. But if people want examples, put a request in the comments. I'll make a video on how you can do that without exhausting yourself. A little goes a long way. Look at yourself and your life, how you can improve your everyday habits, behaviors, and mindset to make the world a better place. Vegans and environmentalists are doing it right now, and you can join them. Don't focus on what you can't do, focus on what you can do, because you are a very capable and powerful creator being that shapes your own reality and the realities that we all share. Live long and prosper. Everybody blames the policy level, but nobody wants to take responsibility. Well.